G'day folks, Rod Moore here. I'm a contemporary landscape artist in uh, the Noosa area and I uh, just want to talk to you about one of my new paintings. This is a painting called Fleeting Last Light at Mullaney and uh, I love painting subjects around Mullaney, Mapleton, Montville in that area because it's that mountain range there and on one side you've got the views across the ocean and on the other you've got all these rolling hills and so on and I've painted quite a few scenes of the rolling hills there was one spot I found where it was quite flat and level on, on a farm there. Um, so this is a view from the side of a road as I was driving along, right? And, and I just happened to capture or, or see this setting sun um, way off in the distance um, across these sort of more flat um, farmland, and this ridge of trees along there. So, uh, you know, it was, some, it was just a memory. It was a moment that I put in my, my mind and, and, and recalled it later on. So this is inspired by that, that time. And uh, what I was trying to achieve with this painting was to really paint in a, a higher key. Um, so I tend to do a lot of low key paintings with a lot of darks and heavy darks and so on. So I wanted to lighten up a bit and freshen it up. But I also wanted to try and create that sense of dusk, you know, when the light's low, which obviously it is with this setting uh, sunlight here, but um, when the light's low and uh, you know, introduce more softer pastel colours, which I think I've achieved that that sort of objective there. Um, and there's a lot of interesting brushwork in here, and uh, big bold brush marks, and not painting anything literally. This is really simplifying the subject down. Um, whereas in the past, I'd try and paint the tree with you know three different tones and get the trunks right and <laughs> paint every leaf kind of approach. Now what I'm doing is just, you know, representing things with just the simplest of brush marks. And I think that this particular painting um, really you know, highlights that approach. So this is a 20 inch by 28 inch painting. If you want to see more details on this one um, or any of my other paintings, drop by my website at www.rodmore.art. Cheers.